What is the most important thing? Well, Dom, I think over the next couple of days, at least, it's, go it's going to be about OPEC and, and what we learn um, in terms of their decision. And I think that's OK. I think that we're in sort of that period of time where trade concern is going to be the overarching concern. It's going to be the biggest headwind that we have until we come to some resolve. But I think over the next two days, at least in unless and until we get some answer out of OPEC, you know, towards what number are they increasing production and where that settles in in the commodity price. Because I think there's been a, you know, a great deal of, of uncertainty in between the sort of market's expectations of something north of one and a half million barrels a day and something south of 300,000 barrels a day. We kind of we kind of nestled into uh, 500 to 600,000 barrels a day of an increase. And that really gets them back to steady state. That gets them back to where they'd like to be on a target because they've lost some Irene sanctions uh, coming up and certainly Venezuela uh, running out of capacity. So I think that uh, I think this should be less market moving, but we'll know over the next couple of days. Yet in art, the Nasdaq is set to open at a new all time high. What is it with technology? Why do investors continue to see that as a good destination to put their money despite valuations, despite the run up that we've seen and despite the big exposure technology has to these trade tensions? Yeah, yes and no, Stephen. That's a great question. I think in some instances, when you look at some of the disruptors, that it feels like they're agnostic to trade tensions. When you think about, you know, a company like a Google and, and, and you know, perhaps a company like a Netflix, certainly a Facebook, which made an all-time all high yesterday, there, there are sections of technology and certainly some of the top, you know, the very large disruptor names uh, that have rapid uh, the sales and, and uh, earnings growth that feel like that's the safety trade. I think that's a little bit dangerous. I would feel much safer, I think, in another sector or another index that's making an all-time high, the Russell 2000. I think you have less exposure to trade, less exposure to stronger dollar. And I think you've seen some outperformance in the Russell 2 versus the S&P 500. But uh, you're right. I think, you know, investors are looking at technology and say, you know, not necessarily affected by uh, tariff and trade and, and, uh, and piling in there at rapid pace. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.